want to get it done. And uh, this is so embarrassing to be a procrastinator. But many did just that, and it made lines extremely long at the Riverlink Customer Care Centers on both sides of the river. And many were in line before dawn. I was here the other day, and the line didn't move for 45 minutes. They were doing the best they could, but so I decided to try to get up and get early and get out of here. On this first day of tolling, Riverlink executives reminded drivers there's no need to slow down through the tolls. It's all electronic. And even if you have registered, you may not have your transponder yet, and that's okay. If you don't have your transponders yet, or if you just set up your account yesterday, uh, you, you can still pay the lowest rate, even if your transponder hasn't arrived yet. Just make sure the status on your account is listed as valid. And remember, we need to have time to process your account. That's about 24, 48 hours. We'll get a transponder assigned to you. As soon as we have time to do that, that's when the lower rates kick in. That's when you're paying $2 instead of 4 Without a transponder, the toll is 4 to $12, depending on the size of your car. With a transponder, you'll pay a discounted price of 2 to $10. I was maintenance manager for Kroger for 35 years, so we had transponders in all the trucks with prepass. I had a SunPass account in Florida, so that works. So I'm very familiar with this. But on the first day of tolling, Larry Slon White needed to solve a dilemma. Said they would send you an email, you had to click on the link, and uh, then you could activate your account. Well, you never get the email. Riverlink says in these cases, be sure to check your junk mail. We're really glad everyone wants to be ready for tolling. We really appreciate everybody uh, trying to make sure that they're all set up.